John William Henry is an American tycoon that made his fortune in commodities trading and expanded into sports and entertainment. He was born in Queens, Illinois. His parents split very early and he spent his childhood between Illinois and Arkansas. He later moved to Apple Valley, California due to his asthmatic issues. He graduated from Victor Valley High School. He later attended Victor Valley College and University of California, but he didn't graduate, mainly because at that time he took part in various rock bands. He even spent time in Las Vegas where he got banned from every casino, not for acting like Joe Pesci, but because he was so good at blackjack that beated almost all the dealers. But when his father died for brain tumor, he went back to Illinois to manage the family farm, which produced soybeans. He later got interested in trading futures, especially commodities futures. He started not casually with soybeans futures. He developed his method of trend following for commodities trading. In his first sale, he was very lucky because he had to sell at $9 a bushel, but he waited until it reached $13 a bushel and sold before it went back to $4. He later looked for a method that would tell him systematically when to buy and sell. In 1981, he started his fund, John W. Henry and Company Incorporated. He found retail clients and opened different offices in California Florida and Connecticut, and he went to live in 1983 in Westport, Connecticut. The hedge fund's technique was described as strongly based on algorithms and not much on, a, on evaluations of factors such as fundamentals. It was designed to strip away emotions and ego from investment decisions, kinda like Ray Dalio's strategy, which I've also covered so make sure to subscribe and take a look at the other videos. It didn't go well at time. For example, in 1985, he had lost 10% of all his assets under management in one day. One fund that was a client of Henry called Iroquois took all the money out and gave them to a rival manager. By the end of the year, Iroquois was bankrupt, while Henry strongly recovered. In 1989, he bought the senior baseball team West Palm Beach Tropics for $1.4 million before it failed. But he got further interested in franchise ownership. He bought 1% stake in the New York Yankees in, 90, in 1991 for $1 million and continued to try to amass stakes in other clubs. In 1999, he bought the Florida Marlins from Wayne Huizenga. That club went from winning the World Series to losing 108 times the year later. He bought the franchise for $158 million. He tried to get a new stadium for the Marlins, but he faced different difficulties and ended up deciding to sell to Jeffrey Loria. Henry wanted to get into less trouble clubs, so when he got the possibility to buy the Boston Red Sox, he jumped in be beating the competitors. He got to own the Boston Red Sox along with his partners Larry Lucchino and Tom Werner. He worked, he worked hard to find new revenue streams. The team bought real estate around the stadium and Nesna, the cable network TV of sports in New England and turned it into a cash cow. He made several management changes and he got to have an approach closer to Moneyball. That's how they got David Ortiz, one of the players that played a key role in winning the World Series in 2004. He faced many difficulties in the following years. He faced Lots of criticism due to his comments on MLB revenue sharing rules. Because larger franchises contribute much more than smaller ones. That's why he got more interested in franchises in other fields. In 2010, he bought Liverpool FC, 
which was in a bad moment. The former owners, Tom Hanks and George Gillett, were facing criticism due to bad management. They put debt on the club and they didn't build the new stadium they promised. In 2012, Liverpool won the first FA Cup under Henry's ownership. In the same year, he signed manager Brandon Rodgers, which managed the club until 2015. After this season, he signed Jurgen Klopp, which led the club to the Champions League final which they lost mainly due to the bad mistakes of the goalkeeper. In 2019, they got back to the final and finally won. They went on to win the UEFA Super Cup and the World Cup for clubs. Henry, in 2007, bought the Rush Fenway Racing Team competing in NASCAR and won his first race in the same year at the Auto Club 500 at California Speedway with driver Matt Kenseth. Today, he's the owner of the Ford race car driven by Chris Buescher. In 2012, Henry stopped handling capital for investors in his hedge fund. In 2013, he bought Boston Globe and the newspaper Telegram and Gazette from the New York Times company. In 2014, he sold the Telegram and Gazette to Halifax Media Group. That's it for John Henry. If you want to know more about the strategy applied by Henry in sports, I recommend you the book Moneyball. The link is in the description. And if you want to know more about foreign investors buying Premier League clubs, I link a book about this topic as well. This is it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and like the video because it's very important since we just started out. If you want to support us, you can do it either through PayPal or by doing your regular shopping on Amazon after clicking one of the links down below. I wish you all a good day and see you the next time.